to City. All five of you played a massive part in exploiting me. My little child... I'm afraid that I have to start this hour with a warning. What I'm about to say, some viewers and listeners will find deeply distressing, but I've made a judgment call that these details need to be out there. There is a special place in hell for these grooming gang monsters who abused a girl as young as 11 years old. Today, Mohammed Amar, Yasser Ajab, Mohammed Zamir Sadiq, Mohammed Siab, Abid Sadiq, Tahir Yassin and Ramin Bari were sentenced to a combined total of 106 years in prison. What they did is absolutely disgusting. But you know what else is disgusting? The lack of media coverage. GB News' Charlie Peters was the only broadcast reporter present yesterday as the brave survivors gave their statements. The BBC didn't want to know, not for the first time. One of the girls was groomed near a primary school where they plied her with drugs and alcohol. They ferried her around the country so other predators could use and abuse her and others. One said, I was only 11. You made me do a test to see if I was still a virgin or not. At that moment, my abuse started. You made it sound like it was a crime to be a virgin. You made me feel ashamed of being a virgin. That same day, you sent me off and forced me to commit a sexual act, and my innocence was stolen. You started to pass me around as if I was a fresh piece of meat, man to man, city to city. All five of you played a massive part in exploiting me. My little childlike body, I was 12, in the back of a taxi. To you, it didn't last long. To me, it lasted a lifetime. I was scared. When you raped me, you made sure you did it properly. I've never felt pain like that before in my life. Another survivor says that she still wakes up screaming in the night. You know what else I find absolutely insane about this? The families of the scumbags who did this were in court and apparently they were crying, tutting, shaking their heads and moaning when their relatives got long prison sentences. Like they were the victims here. Apparently, some of the female relatives were crying. One lad shouted, I love you, Dad, as his monster of a father was led away. Another stormed out, slammed a door. Their relatives are behind bars, but it's their victims who have the real life sentence. Maybe they should think about that. This has been going on in Rotherham for decades. These victims had to wait about 22 years for justice. Why? Well, South Yorkshire Police previously admitted to not acting on reports of crimes because they didn't want to stoke racial tensions. Now, the way I look at that is that some people somewhere decided that it was more preferable for young girls to be raped and abused than to run the risk of being called a racist. Rotherham, Rochdale, Aylesbury, Derby, Oxford, Newcastle, the list goes on and on and on. This is just another one of those issues in Britain that we can see happening right before our eyes, but politicians and the establishment media don't want you to talk about it. Well, not on our watch.